Welcome back to the channel guys today. We got another police pursuit the last police pursuit that we did I asked at the end of the video Hey, if you guys have anything you want to review hang out talk about send it in either to my Instagram or to my TikTok. However, you can get it to me get it to me tag me in it and I'll check it out And then I'll make it here and we can discuss what's going on So today's pursuit took place in the Miami area with none other than the Florida Highway Patrol. So the backstory for this one is the subject was wanted for a sexual offense. The Miami-Dade Police Department was looking for him. He jumped into a van, stole it from a Toyota dealership. It had a whole bunch of auto parts in it. He took off. He fled from the Miami-Dade Police Department. Miami-Dade Police Department helicopter was up, was following him, and was radioing in for FHP's assistance once the van got on the highway. And this is where we're gonna pick it up. So you here you'll see Florida Highway Patrol get behind a vehicle. I'm gonna hold off on a lot of the commentary and some of the breakdown until the end of the video, so make sure you stand, stand by for that. Uh, but we'll kind of go by and I'll make my little comments here and there. But I'm gonna hold off and give you that whole breakdown at the end, so here we go. So I found some dash cam footage of this pursuit. I was sent the news helicopter footage that was out, so I'll cut between the two. Um, but we'll kind of stick where I can't where we can't see from the dash cam then we'll go out to the helicopter But for this one, it's, it's kind of better if you were staying inside the dash cam footage to give you that officer's uh, POV well, As you can see he, he passes by a uh, Miami-Dade police officer there that was in the express lanes Taking the emergency lanes on the shoulder, there's a lot of debris in that emergency lane. You're riding there long enough, you're going to hit a bumper or some kind of metal that's going to blow your tire. He's on him. Oh, he's going for it right here. There you go. Oh, little contact there in the back. There's definitely damage to the trooper's car, and at this point, got to be damage to that van as well. Yeah, you can see some debris coming up. It's like a headlight wire or something that came up from the top. The trooper advises that his car's out. The van's taking the express lane, so that express lane will lead over to the 112. You could either ride it on that ramp or you could also get it in the main lanes there. Oh, taking on. He's got no shoes on, folks. No shoes on, on the highway. Got his hands up there. Oh, no. See, I just drove by that today. That is, that is really tall. It's like another 100-foot drop. Got the thigh holster on. I think his shirt says it's a uh, agency task force, some gang agency task force. Got the thigh holster on, the cuffs on the back. Good job, boys. Ready to take him into custody without incident. 
the joyride is over. So definitely some takeaways on this pursuit. Want to break some stuff down that I saw, but before I do that, I want to talk about today's sponsor. Motion DSP has been supporting the law enforcement industry for over 15 years with their robust suite of video and audio redaction and enhancement software. Forensic enhancement software allows users to quickly process any video file format using patented super resolution algorithms and enhancement filters. Get forensically valid evidence from low quality video in minutes instead of hours. In just three easy steps, import, enhance, and export. Spotlight was built specifically for redaction and was designed to work with video from any camera source. Using the motion DSP algorithms and object tracking technology, Spotlight automates the process of blurring faces and other identifiable information, saving users countless hours compared to the manual frame-by-frame -frame redaction. And I can tell you, it takes forever to blur faces. All right, so here's the free stuff. Motion DSP is offering the Not Squad members a special offer of a free one-week trial and 10% off any annual subscription with code NOD10. That's NOD10. If you'd like to know more about this awesome software that streamlines your workflow, click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to the video. So given the severity of the crime, the troopers intend to get this driver off the roadway as soon as possible. Now, as you notice right in the beginning of the clip of the dashboard, he goes by a Miami-Dade police uh, unit. So the troopers are equipped with those pit bars and, those, and the wraparound pit bars the, the high performance vehicles to go ahead and perform a pit maneuver on these vehicles whereas some of the local police departments might not because that's not what they do or, or it's a highway patrol that's what they do so um, the Miami-Dade police unit lets highway patrol take lead on the the pursuit and they follow so as I mentioned uh, quickly before that emergency lane is full with like shrapnel type material even I've seen bumpers in there so riding that lane is super dangerous at one point the van pulls off but you can hear the engine of the charger pulling up so let's go to the first pit maneuver that is attempted by the trooper at this point coming up to the first pit he sees an opportunity where there's no vehicles to the right he's gonna come up on his left side of the vehicle the van's right try to push it and spin it into the wall as you see, the, the attempt was unsuccessful, and he goes on to the second one. Here, I think um, he gets it in the right quarter panel there in the back, but as he tries to push, maybe let off the gas and wasn't able to push that vehicle through. This attempt comes up. Now he's gauging it. Got a good speed there and is able to go through that rear quarter panel of that car to spin it out. But in this case, the van sp spun out and did a 180 or a 360, sorry, did a 360 and it was headed back in the right direction. So as a driver, you're just like, oh, I'm going in the same direction. All I have to do is hit the gas. They don't have to do any kind of J turn or anything like that. Kind of just set them right there. So unsuccessful, a successful, unsuccessful pit at that point. And that's why it's called the precision immobilization technique because you really need to be precise on where you place your car in order to spin that vehicle out. If you go a little bit too far ahead from that quarter panel, you're going to just sideswipe it. If you go a little bit too less and you don't hit the gas to push that ass end out, it's not going to have enough force to spin it around. So in this case, you saw um, there was a good attempt spun it around. It just happened to be facing the same direction of when, where it was going. So it just hit the gas and continue going. So on um, this last attempt here, he was coming in hot. So at that point, um, it seemed as though the van hit the brakes and then the charger kind of hit the front quarter panel. Um, that front quarter panel, you're not gonna spin anybody out because the engine block is there, it's really heavy, and that's where the steering column is. So you wanna go on that back quarter panel, but in that one, it actually uh, rendered the trooper's car inoperable there. You could hear him calling out the vehicle. He's trying to go, but things are flying off of his car. And uh, however, that last one did mess up that front tire there. And later on, just as he goes up the ramp, he then uh, stops the vehicle because he can't drive it anymore. He got out of the vehicle, attempted to bail out. There was like a hundred foot drop again. Th these guys are trying to go over the wall. He said, I'm not gonna make that. So um, gave up there because there was some uh, gang task force members there. So even though there was, we'll call it a successful, unsuccessful pit, um, and then a couple more attempts 
to get the driver off the road. The attempts were eventually successful as it went up the road a little bit and then the car uh, was rendered inoperable. Now that's great. I'm here sitting behind the microphone telling you about textbook pits and how it should work. But out in the field, things are fluid and officers make decisions and there's a lot of factors to consider. Like, yes, you wanna hit the vehicle in the quarter panel, but if that vehicle does what the van did and just hits his brake abruptly, well, that trooper doesn't have time to react and then just boom, he hits the front quarter panel. So there's things, there's variables that happen out in the field. Overall, um, the trooper's efforts were able to get that offender to stop and it was a successful day. No injuries, uh, some damage to the car, but the overall objective of get this dangerous sexual uh, offender off the streets was a success. So with that being said, if you guys have any other videos or any kind of pursuits that you want to break down or sit and talk about, please send them in. You got me on Instagram, TikTok, wherever you can find me and send me a message. Go ahead and send them there and we'll break it down here for you guys. Another win for the good guys. See you when I see you. If I don't see you, then I'll see you.